Hello and welcome, my name is Laser, and today we're gonna go through the latest Heroes of the Storm patch and that is commonly known as the Sylvanas patch. So first thing we notice right here in the main menu, you see we got full animation, now full 3D animation, no longer just a picture. So you can see Sylvanas in all her glory with her uh, nice um, well formed uh, and very uh, pronounced uh, ears, obviously ears, what, what were you thinking? <laughs> Alright, and we also got these quick buttons here, try hero and go to shop, obviously these work. Now what I want to show you guys, look at here, we click on play. Ah, brand new, okay, a brand new ready screen for us right here. Uh, obviously the graphics have been improved this looks way way better we got lightning going on and so on and so forth you can see there in the background these are the worlds which uh, are combined in Heroes of the Storm you got Azeroth and Sanctuary and uh, whatever the Starcraft one is called right so you can see all the heroes look fantastic fantastically better than before you can also have filters okay on your upper left corner okay you can see you can filter by role alright and by universe Right, you cannot use this or use them. You know, this will make it easier uh, when you're doing your dailies. Obviously, when you're doing this, this will make it a little bit easier. But that's not all, guys. All right, let me click away. Uh, if you go to Hero League, look at this screen. Fully animated again. So all the guys right here are animated. Very, very nice. We also got Team League in this patch. So now I'm gonna go with you guys through the process of creating a team. Team name. Uh, what should we call it? What should we call it? The Bro. Professionals. Uh, did I type that right? Let's see, is this right? Professionals, alright. So we gotta pay a thousand. Uh, and we're gonna pay it. Okay, what now, please? Please? Hello? Please? Valid names can be 2 to 24 characters long and certain letters number single spaces between words, atmosphere and commas. Okay, so we got the professionals all nice and ready. Right here it took a little while. I don't know why. I'm uh, pretty sure I misspelled professionals, but then again, that's, n that's not a real word, is it? So I can go to roster, alright, and I can uh, add my teams. Add my teammates, right? So I'm gonna add, uh, let's see, I'm gonna add Annie, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna add this fella right here. Played with him a little bit. Nice guy. Alright, uh, what else I'm gonna add? Uh, who else am I gonna add? I'm gonna get Olaf, my bro. Alright, okay, so this is what you can do. You can also disband the team. Obviously, you can kick your teammates. Alright, and so on and so forth. So that's how you create a team. Alright, invite zero. You are only team member. Invite more members by using the team roster. Alright, we got that. In custom games, alright, nothing really much changed here. Let's jump into the shop and see the new stuff. You also got a feature tab. So you see guys, everything around here has been changed around a little bit. Okay, so you control things differently. It's fine, it's better than before, I guess. Uh, but before we go to the shop, I want to show you something in player progression. You see a lot of gold has been added. Okay, while you, while you level, Okay, your account. Okay, this is your account level, or your player level, whatever Blizzard wants us to call it. Uh, you get a lot of gold. So let's see, how much do we get for getting to 40? We get 2,000. And another 4,000, that means 6,000. 6,000, we're out of 4,000 right here. 10,000, we're out of 4,000. 14,000, 16,000 gold. That's something. Alright? That's something. It's not a joke. Okay, I'm glad they did this. We get more gold now. Very nice. We also get a Steam Pack at level 7. Alright, Hero League is unlocked at 40 and Team League at uh, 40. Uh, but then again, that's about it, to be honest. Oh, one more thing. Uh, you see, characters can now uh, level beyond level 10. Okay, they can go to level 20. The rewards are mech. You know, I would have liked to see something, something more exciting than gold. It's nice to get gold, don't get me wrong, but I would have liked to see something more exciting. So at level 15, you get 12,050 gold and 25,000, 2,500 gold at level 20. And that's about it. So we're back in the shop. Heroes, we got new hero Sylvanas. Obviously, she's 15,000 gold right now. She will get dropped. She will get dropped in price, guys, roughly two weeks after she's launched and nerfed, probably, because she's overpowered right now. So we got uh, Sylvanas here, you got skins for her, okay, this is the Ranger General Skills for Sylvanas, and look, this is like a Blood Elf tint, and here, uh, like a blah, 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 tint. Uh, right, this is the Master Skin for her, right, and the color variations for it, right, when it comes to the shop... We got some new stuff. Let's go to bundles. Okay, you can get the uh, Ranger General Sylvanas bundle. Okay, this bundle I already got it. All right, the, uh, the gameplay is on my site if you, uh, on my uh, channel if you guys want to watch that. Uh, this is 13 euro. Okay, uh, if you guys and I'm guessing 13 dollars for you guys in the US if you want to get it or not. 
And in the mount section, uh, the two mounts that were removed temporarily, temporarily, okay, the direwolf and the cyberwolf removed temporarily and temporarily added magic carpet for 10 euro. This is it. Alright, we've seen this before. And also the lunar tiger, which again, we've seen it before. Alright guys, that's about uh, gonna do it for the actual aesthetic changes and what I can show you here. Let's jump into the actual hero ch changes and talk a little bit on the patch notes. Alright, so let's quickly go through some of the hero changes. I'm not gonna go too deep into this, okay, I'm gonna try to keep it short and fresh. Right, so Avatar got a little bit of a buff to his Toxic Nest and to Demonstrosity, okay, it now persists until killed. Uh, Ultimate Evolution also got a little bit of a rework. Asthma then now uh, has a maximum damage of a 500 to Taste for Blood, okay, so no more Imba Uber damage for Asthma then, unfortunately, on his cue, that uh, Sick Dunk build is gone now, I'm afraid. Right, nothing interesting here. Uh, Falstead now has got a little bit of an improvement to his barrel roll and to Mighty Gust. Blizzard tried to make us pull, uh, play with Mighty Gust a little bit more. Jaina again got a new talent, Arcane Power, which should be a general talent, but right now is only available for her. Let's see. Uh, nah, 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 nah. There's some bug fixes. Marky again, some tweaking there. Nazebo. Guys, Nazebo finally got the bet. He deserved it. Alright, so specialized stocks in now damage bonus from 200 to 100. Kaboom. Kaboom. There goes your voodoo ritual damage right there. Alright, the Gargantuan got a little bit of a, um, a buff here, alright, because, uh, again, they want us to use it more. Nobody uses Gargantuan. I mean, come on. Uh, right, Ravenous Spirit there got a little bit of a buff and a nerf. It does actually more damage, but radius is smaller now. So, meow. Yeah. yeah. Alright, what else I wanted to talk about? Stitches. Stitches again, again being nerfed. He deserved it. What? He deserved it. Uh, even though now in ranked you don't really see stitches that much. I even had games where they didn't see a stitches. Can you believe that? No stitches in a ranked. On ATC is now much more favored. So right now guys, what happened to stitches? The main thing we are interested in is pulverize. Now what happened to pulverize? Look at this. The stun and bonus damage component of his talent has been removed. <laughs> but that means no more interrupt on ulties and so on and so forth. Alright, a bit of an uh, buff to Putrid Bile here. Right, additional 10%, blah blah blah. Duration increase for Gorge, alright, and now removes the movement speed slow from Gorge. Alright. This is Hungry Hungry Stitches talent at level 20. Tassadar there. Frawl. Frawl, again, getting a little bit of a rework. Right now, what they try to do with Frawl is basically increase his mana cost and decrease the mana he would get from Mana Tide, alright? So basically, they don't want people to be so spammy with Frawl as they were in the past. Tirande, again, uh, a lot of changes to Tirande right here. To be honest, I'm not really that interested in her. You can check it out if you want to. Uter, alright? Another hero wanted to talk about. He got the bat. Again. Uh, well, not again. Actually, this is the first real bat he gets. So, what is the main thing here? Eternal Devotion, alright? You will no longer be able to be a ghost and use your abilities. Right now, when you're gonna turn a ghost, you're gonna have a mini heal, alright? This flash of light thing, alright? So, you're gonna have this flash of light thing, a heal on a very short cooldown, 1.5 seconds there. Alright? So, no more charging in with Uther, going suicidal, because, heh, who cares, you know? As long as everybody else dies. Alright? A whole bunch of other uh, modifications made to him, but this is the big one, alright? You change to Eternal Devotion. Alright guys, a lot of bug fixes, a lot of small tweaks here and there. If there's a champion you prefer, I suggest you reading this. But that's gonna be all for now. Thank you for watching. Please like, favorite, share and subscribe and I will see you again soon.